You know, one thing that's different then and now, of course, is as an entrepreneur, there are many more sources of capital. Uh, in, in many cases, it's actually possible to self-finance. It's so inexpensive. Even if you're not wealthy, you can get, you know, you can get going. Another thing is all of the angel money that is around of entrepreneurs and others who have been successful who can help with the first fifty or hundred thousand dollars. We're going to meet a couple of them next week in Ron um, Conway. And so, Mike. that has changed the picture so that uh, there are a lot of projects now that never get to institutional venture capital because they don't, you know, they don't need to, and it's a much more uh, competitive kind of market. But uh, and in some cases, people have been su- successful will come back and start a second company or even a third or a fourth. I mean, there's a, you know, have to be triple-digit number of serial entrepreneurs in the Valley, right. maybe even thousands, and that didn't used to be the case. So something that I've learned, which is uh, that there are, while there are obvious advantages to being able to self-finance, mainly you don't have to go out and raise money, you don't have to spend your time spending months trying to get somebody to write a check, you can be working on product, and you're not subject to certain kinds of negative pressures that come sometimes when you've raised money. I understood the advantages, but there are, turns out, I, I now think, at least for me personally, there are disadvantages, which is that if you have to go out and raise money, it actually um, creates some accountability conditions. Like you actually have to demonstrate progress and make somebody else happy besides yourself. And when you self-finance, it's too easy not to have the discipline, even if you mean well, to put off tough decisions about growing the business because you know you could stretch it out. I could put a little bit more money in. Mm-hmm. And I think that that actually, there are liabilities around that. And so uh, with a company like Fox Marks, we are in the process, just myself and three other founders, literally, of, even though I could continue uh, financing it, making a fundamental decision that says if we can't go out and raise outside money within a certain period of time, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Maybe that's a real signal that, you know, it's, it's not the right thing yeah, to do. Sort of that, right. that external review or, or yeah. validation. Right. 